food and a pizza. You show which I was cool. And then I found you also failed ten years old. But fuck it, it was something to do. Welcome to the world's famous party island, where the night starts at 2 a.m. and nobody even considers going home until the sun is up. Let's do it again. This place is like the Disneyland for party animals. It's crazy, it's wild, it's amazing. So a Spain trip started with Barcelona where we had amazing time, explored the breathtaking Gothic architecture with delicious tapas. If you haven't watched the video yet, make sure to do that because you will be in awe. So after spending a few days here, it was time to go to the legendary party paradise. Super excited to start the madness in Ibiza for 4 days. For that, we hopped on a direct flight with Vueling and our flight from Barcelona was a breeze. In just about an hour, bam, we found ourselves on the world famous party island. Ibiza! And then we checked into our hotel, we stayed at El Puerto, which was decent, and without wasting a single second, we quickly got ready and headed straight to the beach club that everyone's raving about. And we are finally at the most awaited place. Ibiza and the first spot that we are going to is the most famous beach club which is Dumale and they have a special day today it's a showtime sunday which is booked months in advance and it was all sold out even when we were looking for tickets so we booked a big day bed here and we're going to enjoy the sun after four days this feels nice cheers to our first day So Blue Marlin is a very famous beach club on the south coast on the lovely Cala Jondal Bay. It has beautiful turquoise water and its secluded location makes for a picturesque drive over and even more so party experience. It is a little high end because it's the best beach club in the entire Ibiza island. And we are here for some drinks and obviously chill out at the beach. Very hungry. We haven't had anything. It's amazing. Because it's on Kala Jondal Beach, which is a really nice beach. Sadly, it's rocky. I know, but you have great views for sure. There are yachts in front of me. What else do you need? This is our first day in Ibiza, and I know it's going to be crazy. You remember the Mykonos video that I did? It's gonna be the same. So I'll show you the best of places here in Ibiza. <laughs> And this is the place to be both day and night. By the day, it's the perfect beach resort, which transforms into a throbbing with life nightclub venue. And as the sun goes down, DJs start to play, and the place turns into a party. Without a doubt, this was the swankiest beach club on the island. Hello. Yes, hello. Honestly, there's not much that compares to dancing under the sun. Feet in the sand. We had such a spectacular time. We had so much fun dancing that night. It's our day two in Ibiza, and we are at Beach House. This is actually a boho restaurant and beach club with amazing ocean views. Our friends, I guess, partied way too much, and they were sleeping by the time we got up. And this place actually accept walk-ins only. And the best part about this place, it's right on the water. Because yesterday's beach was a bit rocky, but this one is a sandy beach. So it's a perfect way to start your morning. Just order some breakfast here with this nice view. This place has a total boho vibe. The restaurant looks so beautiful. The inside interiors, everything is so nice. And we are laying down on the beach, and we spent 90 euros for the day beds. But if you don't want to do that, you can always come to the restaurant for some nice lunch because the vibe is amazing here. Thank you. This is a green detox drink for yes. puja. It's so relaxing to sit at the beach. I'm totally enjoying it. Right now we are detoxing. This is the green juice. 
keeping it all chill during the day because tonight is going to be crazy. This place is beautiful. Nice and relaxing vibe. Also, I see a lot of families. So it's a good oh, yeah. place to come with children as well. And guess what? Our friends are back. All well rested. So Beach House is a laid-back bohemian beach club away from the hustle and bustle on one of Ibiza's liveliest beaches, Playa de Bossa. It is the longest stretch of uninterrupted sand on Ibiza. It's like a world within a world place where you can sit, relax and enjoy some refreshing cocktails. Second day in Ibiza, let's do it. By the day, Beach House is the perfect spot for whiling away the lazy hours. Just sit back on a sun lounger under the natural seagrass shade with the sparkling scene touching distance and swaying palm trees. It was definitely the highlight of the place. Going in the blue turquoise water, the white sandy beaches, we had so much fun here and would highly recommend it. Driving down the coastline. Tacos, Metze. So after chilling at the beach, we are at the restaurant area enjoying this yummy dinner. We ordered a lot of things, risotto, meze platter, tacos and guys the vibe here is spectacular. The music is all boho and I really love this place. We spent the entire half of the day here and that's what I would highly recommend. Guys, I have eaten so much. I can't even tell you. I'm just going to burst. It's like I just want to doze off but I can't. I just need another level of energy right now because after this, the place that we are going to, we can't be like this. We need to go crazy for that place. So, cheers to that. But the food here was amazing. This is one place that you have to visit. I'm highly impressed. And then it was time to get ready for the most awaited night. This is all behind the scenes. She's helping me with this glitter on my face. Looking nice. I like yeah. it. We're all ready. Nice. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Everyone is looking really nice. And they had this is us always running around to get taxis. Yes, it gets pretty busy in the evenings. We're finally here at Ushuai for you will see. So Ushuaia is one of the most popular party destinations that hosts top DJs from around the world. Beat Calvin Harris, Martin Garrix, Kygo, you name it. Right now we're just chilling before the madness starts. It's actually the calm before the storm. Thanks for having me, David Guetta. Guys, it's crazy here. There's no space to go. We are in between the crowd right now. Yes. We are just holding our drinks and just like just waiting, waiting for David get up. And the best part of this place, it's an open air stage and poolside setting. And yes, we happened to see David Guerra during our trip here. We had a blast. I don't even remember when was the last time I danced so much. The vibe, the crowd, the energy, there is something in Ibiza, I'm telling you. And late in the night, we just went to a random club, I don't even remember the name. But we had a great time here, dancing till the VRs. Ah, uh, what a night, what a night. So next day, we went to a stunning beach club which has white themed decor, Nikki Beach, which is an iconic brand and has several locations around the world, including hotspots in Miami, Saint Tropez, Dubai and more. We have farm pizza and quesadilla yum, yum, yum. and chicken satay. It's day three in Ibiza and I'm very dead, which is not surprising, I'm sure. We were partying like crazy. We slept at like 5 a.m. and now we are at Nikki Beach Club. This is a bit far from a pizza town but it's definitely worth the ride because it's a pretty chill place during the day 
and right now honestly I have no energy and that's why this food right here that we are going to enjoy and I can't wait to dig in. First pizza in the last 7 days. We are too much tapas. And oh my god, the food scene here, I love, love, love it. From fresh seafood to Mediterranean inspired cuisine, too good. This place is known for hosting a variety of events including live music performances and I really really love the music here. It's a mix of house, electronic and chill out tunes which is just perfect for the beachside experience. How is everyone feeling today? <laughs> Guys, so especially at places like this, nothing really starts early. During the day, it's all chill everywhere. Just eat some good food, detox, and in the night, it's go all the just clubbing, club, hand clubbing. The vibe is amazing guys, it's very low-key chill. The service here is top class, it's so good. Like we are actually having drinks in the pool and they're serving right in the pool itself. So good. And the next place is experimental. For sunset and drinks. <laughs> yes. So let's go in. Let's yeah. Go. I see this drink everywhere. What's so special about it? It's not too strong. It's not too slow. Easy. It's medium. Okay. Oh. But if you drink two or three, maybe it's dangerous. Okay. <laughs> dangerous. Oh, okay. So this is a really nice chill spot to enjoy the sunset with amazing views. But I don't know if you want to come for food, but definitely for sunset and drinks. Yeah. So, cheers. Cheers. And don't forget to drink kava. It was a cloudy day today, so we didn't really enjoy the sunset. Definitely check the weather before coming, because right now it was just like blah. But it's okay, not everything can be great. It's so peaceful here. It's a good break from all the pizza parties. And look at this. Also right beside it, there's a spot where you can just walk and there's literally nobody. And look at this amazing view. This is one place when you just want to relax in the evening, just enjoy some cocktails with this amazing ocean view. You gotta come to experiment too. And, and, and the night is still young, so it was time to get some shots and not to forget all those random conversations you have in taxis. What is happening? And this particular driver was so chill, we had a blast on our way. They really keep the party going for you, even when you're in transit, you know. And now we're sitting on the port side, having some dinner before the night starts. The boys are still drinking. <laughs> The drinks are so strong here guys, whenever you order a drink, the standard is double shot, which is kind of like a patiala peg for Indians, so be careful. But you're in Ibiza, so you can actually handle triple shot, four shots, you can do anything you want. It's literally 1am in the night, like if you want to go for clubbing, which is the only thing that you can do at night here in Ibiza, they open at like 12 and the best time is to go around 1 well, no, because well, if you enter the club at 12, so you can have your private party. <laughs> <laughs> we're refueling ourselves. Yes, and we are going to one of the party. biggest and the best nightclubs which is? in Ibiza. Hi Ibiza, let's party! Guys, honestly, I'm so tired and sleepy, but we are still going out. Because obviously we are with our friends, so and we, we have are in to Ibiza, so Ibiza. we want to party. We came here for to party yeah. only. It's not just us. It feels every person on the island is outside right now because that's what you do in the night. Otherwise, don't come to Ibiza. It's two o'clock at night, and look at the crowd, guys. Akshit, are you ready? Yeah. 
Uh, people seemed to have too much coffee that night. If you know, you know. The tequila corners, bars were all empty. The music was hard techno. Mm, not my vibe at all. Okay, guys, it's a different vibe here. I just feel I'm too old for all of this. I know what's happening. This place is crazy. I'm literally yawning. Yawning in a pizza. It's 4 30 right now. But we are done for the night. We're getting gold. Uh, maybe it's a different vibe for everybody. We enjoyed it in Mykonos last year. But this is this too is more much. Of, this is more for of us. techno. We enjoy house music. I want to sing, I want to dance. So probably tomorrow we'll be going to a nice place where they play commercial music. So, me and Saranj, we came back. Our friends are having fun, so that's okay. 5 a.m. in the morning. Clubs are all open, but there's no place open to have some food. We are actually staying in the central, Ibiza town. Everything is closed. We have Burger King right here. Which is open till 4. But now it's 5. Food, food, food. But guys, we found something which is close to the port right here. So, this is all the food that we have. This is what I got. Not bad. And there's still people enjoying beer with this view at 5 a.m. Look at this. Like literally look at this. So for our last day in Ibiza, we went to one of the most popular pool party, O Beach. Let's do it. We reserved a day bed here, which I highly recommend if you want to move around. Everybody looks so fun. So when you're hangover, this is what you do when you enter. And a lot of food. And here the crowd was more in their 20s, young people going crazy in the pool and dancing around. But honestly, you come here for the entertainment. This is such a cool place, guys. You have to come here. It was massive and something I've never seen before at a beach club. It was so much fun to watch and since we were partying from the last three days, our energies were honestly down here. But just after a little bit of caffeine, we were on it again. Have a couple of hours to, you know, have fun and enjoy ourselves. Look at this beach club, it's beautiful, it's so vibrant and colorful. We are having the best of our time. After Obi, we are back again to Yushua. Yushua, our favorite because, nightclub. Yeah, we had a very fun night yesterday. So we are again back to this place to enjoy the Mitchell Vegas and Light Night. And they are one of my favorite DJs. We had to do it. And also because it's our last night, so. Go big or go home. World within the mirror of the So just lay down beside me. So it was a second time here at Yushwaya and it didn't disappoint. We relived our college days, the set was great, we danced way too much. But this place doesn't close very late, so we got free around 11 pm. But we didn't want to go home as it was our last night in Visa. And you know where did we go? To the club I hated the other night. Hi. And since it was right opposite Yushwaya, so we thought why not give it another chance because we have heard so much about it. And oh my god, this time it completely blew my mind. So let me tell you a thing about Ibiza. The clubs here are legendary, Pasha, Amnesia, Yushwaya. But the kind of night you'll have totally depends on who is playing that night. And this night it was Fisher. And I love, love, loved it. It was more of house music and the vibe was completely different. From zombies the other night to happy people tonight, we had a blast. And oh, did I show you the school washroom? Yes, this is a washroom and there was a DJ playing here. And trust me, it's not gross. It was all clean and it was a party up here. It was so much fun that we were forced to leave at 5 a.m. In the morning, we still didn't want to leave, but we had a flight in just one hour, so you can imagine. We slept for maybe half an hour and we were dead the next day. But we quickly grabbed a slice of pizza from the airport, hopped on a flight to our next destination. Wait, 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 wait.
which was a fairy tale land mallorca it was so stunning ah uh, you have to wait for that video but that's it from the biza video and i really hope you got some recommendations on where to go on your next trip to biza in a nutshell this place is the world's biggest playground for grown ups it's crazy it's madness and it's a place where you'll make memories that you'll be laughing about for the rest of your life and now i'll see you in mallorca bye